So now one of the first things you want to try to understand, get familiar with when you're learning electronics is the resistor color code. So now here's a image of two resistors I took a long time ago. They're made of different material but they're both resistors. For the most part they work exactly the same. They got slight uh, property differences. Uh, this one happens to be a lot more accurate, the uh, metal film. But uh, in any case, we're not going to worry about that now. We're just going to worry about the color code. When you get uh, more advanced into electronics, a different type of resistor might make a difference. But for uh, beginning, uh, what you're mainly worried about is the amount of resistance that the resistor has. And this is indicated by the color code. Now, of course, resistors also come in packaging. Uh, this one, which I did get this resistor from, has the uh, resistance on the packaging, 470 ohm resistor. Other uh, resistors have uh, it on this little strip. They come on these paper strips, and uh, the one on this side is 10 kilo ohms. Back here, they hand wrote it. The ones attached to this strip are 220 ohms. And of course, you can also use the multimeter to uh, get the resistance, but it's still a great idea to get familiar with the code. It uh, helps you sort out uh, unknown resistors a lot quicker and stuff like that. But in any case, I put together this diagram to hopefully make it easier to understand. The first stripe we're going to look at is the tolerance band. And uh, the tolerance is the amount that the resistance can be over or under its rated value. The amount to expect, actually. So, these beige resistors, when you know the resistance value, when you look at the tolerance, usually it's a 5%, a gold stripe, you can expect that the actual resistance of the resistor will be somewhere between 5% higher or lower than the rated value. Uh, so it's going to be slightly off from its rated value, but, uh, but it's still close for uh, beginning projects it really makes no difference the amount of current change. Now the blue metal film resistors they're a little harder to identify which uh, stripe is uh, the tolerance stripe. Usually this stripe is brown for one percent but brown could also mean that the uh, resistance starts with a one. So uh, hopefully it's a different color on the other end than brown because these are almost always uh, brown for 1% accurate, but uh, in any case if both ends are brown it's probably the side with the bigger gap that is the tolerance. So it gets a little trickier with these blue resistors, but, uh, but usually it's still not too bad. So we take the tolerance stripe now and we put it on the right side, like you see the image here, the right side when you're looking at it. And now that we got the tolerance band out of the way, it's on the right side. Now we start at the left and uh, get our rated value. So this uh, resistor here, these beige ones, they tend to have four total stripes, four bands. Whereas the blue ones, the metal film ones, tend to have five total bands, five total stripes. Uh, but uh, the process works the same. We just have one more band with that one. But uh, we'll do this one first. So this is a resistor I commonly use. I do a lot of 9 volt uh, projects and this is really about the uh, minimum resistance I want to use to protect an LED. Uh, so in any case, it's a 470 ohm resistor. So the first digit, which is uh, yellow, stands for 4. Now the second digit is violet. That stands for 7. Now I know it's really hard to tell the uh, color in the uh, picture. They don't tend to show up very good in uh, any pictures or videos that I've seen. They're a lot easier to tell what color they are in person. But in any case, 4 and 7 is a common uh, first digits for these beige resistors. That's uh, another little trick. There's a lot of uh, number patterns uh, with uh, different types of resistors. Now, the uh, last band for the uh, rated value now, that indicates the multiplier down here. So uh, the simplest way to explain that is this band is the number of zeros that follow these two numbers. 
So you don't just write down the actual digit. It's actually the number of zeros. So in this case, this band is brown. So all that means is there's one zero. So four seven for the first two bands, and then one zero for 470 ohms. Now, the uh, five band resistor works in uh, the exact same way except for we have one more band. So in this case, we have three digits followed by the multiplier, which uh, is the number of zeros. That's the easiest way to explain it. So green is five, brown is one, black is zero. So that's our first three digits. And then we have red on the end here. And uh, that means two more zeros. So zero, zero. So this is a 51,000 ohm resistor. I got the 51,000 there. Or 51K. That's more common to, uh, if it's in the thousands of ohms, to just say uh, 51 kilo ohms. So now I happen to have a, a blue 470 ohm resistor uh, easily available. It's uh, exact same resistance as uh, this one. But the reason why it's so much bigger, generally the uh, blue resistors you get, quarter watt resistors, will be this size. When you get a kit or something that includes resistors, they tend to give these blue ones now, I think, instead of the beige ones. But as you can see, these are the same size as this one. This one's larger because it's a one watt resistor. Whereas all these little resistors are quarter watt resistors. Quarter watts more common. I special ordered this resistor for uh, handling more power. That's the only reason why it's larger. The amount of resistance between these two is uh, the same for the rated value. The only difference is the tolerance differences. So now we'll look at the uh, color code of a 470 ohm resistor if it has five stripes such as this one. Remember, these are both 470 ohms resistance. They're rated at the same value. This one's probably more accurate. Uh, but otherwise, they're the same amount of resistance. This one's larger to handle more power. Uh, so otherwise, they got the same resistance. And so now, again, the first digit, when you're dealing with five stripes, we just went over with four stripes, 470 ohms. First digit's yellow. The second digit is violet. I know they're kind of hard to see, but uh, that's the color. So again, it's four, seven. Now we got uh, uh, two more digits to deal with instead of one. So now the next stripe is the third digit. So in this case, it's black for zero. So we got 470. Now with the multiplier, uh, we got our 470 ohms. So the fourth stripe now is black for a zero. You don't add any uh, zeros. You don't multiply it by 10 or 100 or anything. Uh, you don't uh, add anything after the 470, so it's black. That's what black means when it's a multiplier. You just leave the uh, digits as they are.